So if I lived in Nanjing or Shenzhen or I lived in New York or Boston, I could go to a jewelry store and have my finger sized. Mm -hmm. I could send that information and then I could work with you online and and you could send me drawings of designs that I like and then you could make it for me and ship it to me without me ever going to China, right? Right. In, for example, in your country, many rich women, they will they like the big bread, Bulgari, Kadia, something like this. But uh, we can do, we, you know, we can make it so cheap. So maybe some people, some women, they would like to buy buy these, these things they like with cheap money. So you'd have you'd have two different types of businesses. You'd have the woman who wants a custom ring, and then you'd have a woman who wants to pay less money and can choose and can bread. choose from one of like ten standard yeah, offerings. Yeah. Yes, uh, for example, for the uh, for the engagement rings, yep. the, the types of the uh, of the of the engagement rings in the traditional store, traditional companies, how to say, it's, it's not, it's not fashion, it's not, it's not beautiful, it's traditional, you know. Well, they have the, they have their it's traditional many, cuts. Uh, the type of many years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, we will, we will find some designers to design, uh, young de designers to design more new new and fashion and build more beautiful rings jewelries yeah okay and uh, because because now the the major major uh, the major clients is young people not uh, old people well i mean uh, sure if you're selling engagement rings that Stands uh, to reason. Yeah. I mean, most, yeah, and especially the, in China. <laughs> young people, actually, we uh, the uh, our client target clients target women is from twenty, maybe twenty five, to forty, to thirty five years old. Some the mm -hmm. age, yeah. So this uh, uh, this age of people of women, they like something new, something fashion. If somebody asks you for a price, yeah, how do you well, give them a pro how do you give them a price if you don't know what you're making? <laughs> no, no, no. We have products. We have pictures on our page. If and uh, when when they uh, when they choose some some you know which one, uh, they will send us that picture. Okay. Hey, uh, how much it is? How much is this? Something like this. Or well, uh, when we have no the picture, and uh, if they have something they like, they will find the pictures themselves and ask us if we can make it and how much it. Okay. Can I understand? Yeah. And do you have, let's say a customer comes in and they have no idea what they want. Do you have somebody who can design something for them? Yes, yes. So that's also the new type, because for example, if uh, if the couple come to our store and uh, they said they want the wedding rings, the for the men and the women, uh, women, and uh, they they don't know what they like, but uh, maybe they have some ideas, and they can tell us, and uh, we can catch the important uh, important things. In, and we will ask the designers to design the rings for them. Or if they don't know what kind of they want, and they can tell us some story, some stories of their mm -hmm. their, their relationship. I've seen that on your web. Uh, on the you've sent me stuff where it says, "Please tell us your story. We want to hear you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For example, some mountains or some river, or some some places, and uh, we can we can ask the 
designers to make make the memory or the, you know how would it okay in, in the okay how would a designer incorporate mountains or the dolphins or <laughs> a dolphin 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 can the dolphin is easy and for example we we have one of the uh, the wedding rings a uh, wedding ring is uh, called um couple of andes you know andes andes the mountain of named andes oh in south america ah uh, yeah 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 it is the it is the largest and maybe the longest mountain in the world the whole world well it goes and all the way up to canada yeah, it becomes the Rocky Mountains up in the United States and in Canada. Uh, I search online, I see, I see the Andes is the longest. And so our, uh, our designers um, design the rings with the, with the, you know. Ridges? Yeah, the ridges. Yeah. And uh, it, it's, it looks like the tide, you know, like a mountain range mountain yeah like a mountain and it means it means the relationship or the love of this couple will uh, keep as long as the mountain the longest mountain in the world oh okay well that's a long time maybe <laughs> unless yeah. unless there's a volcano so, so some, some like this we, we will we will make the ring Make the jewelries with emotion. This is an important thing. This is what the young people are looking for now. You know. Right. Well, it's now. unique. They they want to spend money to buy something meaningful to them. Right. Right. Well. Okay. Yeah. Because. You know, wedding rings have been engagement rings and wedding rings have been around for hundreds of years. So there are many classical styles already existing about the shape and the cut of the diamond. And so yeah. it would be probably very difficult to go head to head with those type of stores. And so if somebody, you know, for example, a, like a, a woman in the West, she may have grown up her whole life, you know, a lot of girls in the United States grow up with having fantasies about their wedding right and their their big day and so they may already have de desires for a traditional ring that may be similar to their mothers or grandmothers but in china in china there isn't as much tradition when it comes to wedding ring like does your mother have a w an engagement ring no right so maybe he just has nobody uh, spent money on it back 20 then or 30, 20 or 30 years history uh, if that much right because mm -hmm. people right. you know your parents your parents didn't have the money or even the desire to wear a, a, an engagement ring right mm -hmm. yes your parents that th did they even know was it i mean Back in China, did people spend their money on rings when your parents got married? No. Why not? Because uh, in, <coughs> in those years of their marrying age, in those years, most uh, people of them, um, you know, they have, um, they don't, they don't. They didn't get. Uh, they didn't uh, go to school very, very a lot, and they, they maybe they they even didn't know much about the diamond diamonds or the rings and something like this. Um, just a small, just small, a small amount of the people, of the couple, uh, knows the Western customs that uh, when people get married they will wear rings or wear diamond rings something like this so just uh, uh, in those years just a small amount of people will buy the diamond rings but uh, uh, those time they they know the gold they know the gold so 
Right. So, so most most people of uh, at our uh, at my parents' age, they bought the gold rings. So your parents wear gold rings. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, China. China has always uh, had gold and silver, right? Yeah, but silver, silver is become how to say become less and less now. I mean, less and less people like silver now. Hmm. Interesting. Why has China adopted what is a Western cultural thing with rings why why do chinese want to wear a diamond ring why is that important isn't it just a waste of money no no you know because because more and more people they uh they they uh, they were um educated and uh, they have no they have more to say more vision of the world, more more vision of the different customs, and the most uh, important, most important is because the uh, the companies or you know some the companies uh, made the advertisement uh, maybe ten or twenty years ago. And uh, for example, they they said, uh, you know, they how to say they they they, they, they will make some advertisement and uh, you know and make people make people know that the diamonds is very real on the world and uh, and uh, it you know they, they they make the diamond uh, with the with the emotion and uh, for example they. They just make people to believe that diamond, diamond rings or wedding rings means a promise to each other. Mm-hmm. And so more and more people, when they get married and they want to, they like this, you know, they like this meaning. And uh, so they believe that they need to, they need to give, each, uh, give, uh, give each other the promise. Okay. In jewelry... I think if you can establish yourself as having, as being honest, right? And you're a very honest person. You have a lot of integrity. Um, I would trust you with my money. So, okay. so, so, you know, but I know you, most people don't know you. So, right. 